Hello YouTubers, this is the Nubifar. With 3.5 coming, I have a renewed excitement for what I love to do in Star Citizen. Dogfighting. Ever since patch 2.4, I feel the space combat experience has become more nerfed and less enjoyable. The speed was reduced, the weapons were made weak, the TTK was increased. All this was done to make Star Citizen play more like Wing Commander. The competitive community died out, it hasn't been as active as before, and with the new flight model, we're hopeful that Arena Commander is restored to viable and enjoyable. Most of you know that I fly standing up, but the Monster Tech Simpit is sitting in the other room, and I'm going to be testing my skills seated with pedals as well. Many of you who watch my content already know about Verbal Controllers. They're one in a handful of companies that offer premium flight sticks. Their first release in 2017 of the MT-50 set an unusual precedence. They decided to offer a matched pair of controllers. Flight sim pilots could buy a premium right-handed grip like normal. Space sim pilots could buy a matched left and right pair of premium grips. Since then, Verpal's continued to release great products for both markets, but they're always looking to find what we're looking for and then make it for us. The MT-50 CM2 is the fourth grip in the MT-50 line, and Verpal sent me one for review. Here's what makes it special, and here's what you need to know. The MT-50 CM2 is Verpal's latest ultra-premium grip. Its design is similar to the others, however, its construction was approached as a no-compromise. Let's cover the pros. The grip sections are injected molded with impact-resistant polymer. The grip feels solid. It picks up your body temperature after a bit of use, and because of its slight texture, it won't slip. Cycling the trigger or pushing buttons translates to a click in your hand, but the sound is muted by the grip casing. You can feel the click, but the click doesn't sound hollow. In the hand, this grip feels better than the Warthog grip, and that's saying something. All the buttons and hats have been changed out of the original versions. The original MT-50 had a great button layout with a total of 23 bindable. The MT-50 CM2 replaces its hat switches with premium hat switches and replaces two buttons with additional hat switches. The total breakdown is a dual stage trigger, a safety flip trigger that has a binding state for both up and down, an analog brake lever, one two-way hat with push, one eight-way hat with push, three four-way hats with push, and four momentary buttons. The resulting 35 possible binds is the most that I've ever seen on one grip. I have the following cons for you to consider. As a flight sim pilot, I don't see anything negative, but I know there are some users out there that would love an analog mini stick for some other functions. If you need a joystick on a joystick, this isn't the grip for you. As a space sim pilot, along with the mini stick, two other things stand out preventing the CM2 from being a knockout. Twist and a left-handed variant. Verpal. People generally love the features and functionality of the Delta. Most either don't mind it or flat out hate the shape. If you took a CM2 as a starting point, replaced one hat with a mini stick, added a Z-axis and sold it left or right-handed, you'd have a great second option for space sim pilots. The CM2 is the best feeling grip that Verpal makes. Its wide range of buttons offer a premium experience. Unless you need twist, an analog mini stick, or want to use it with your left hand. And that's it. Please stay tuned as I'm going to continue to test hardware as it becomes available. In the very near future, Verpal's launching a newly re-engineered gimbal and an F4-inspired grip. Thank you very much for spending your time with me. If you liked the video and got something out of it, please consider sharing it with a friend or an orgmate. Fly safe, and I'll see you in the verse.